Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the annual town meeting. We have some more chairs, I believe, coming, so just bear with us, and I believe some more warrants. I think everybody's about to come in, so uh, with that, I'm gonna ask those that are seated to please rise, face this flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and welcome. This is the first uh, that I can remember of being outside. And it, there's no rumor that if you want to get married, this is going to be the tent. <laughs> Not a red carpet, but you all came in on a blue carpet for the colors of the town of Mashpee. So uh, don't forget to vote. It's this Saturday. And with that, uh, in the name of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, you are hereby directed to notify and summons the inhabitants of the town of Mashpee who are qualified to vote in the election to meet at the Mashpee High School uh, in the field on Monday, the third day of May 2021 at 7 p.m. for the following purposes, to act on the articles contained in the following warrant. Mr. Cotton. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I move that the town vote to dispense with the reading of the special town meeting warrant articles. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed. Okay, that uh, carries and I won't read it. I do want to tell everyone that article two needs a nine tenths vote. So if I can declare it unanimous, we'll go a lot quicker, but if not, that's fine. So I'll take a motion, Mr. O'Hara. <laughs> My glasses are fogged up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a mask. Take a mask. Second. While he's no, getting acclimated, there are three microphones, but don't have to go to the microphone. Just stand up, raise your hand, okay. and there are there's a rover who will come and bring a microphone to you. Okay. All right, Mr. O'Hara. All right. Motion, I move the town vote to approve Articles 1, 2, 3, and 4. Put the mic down, Tori. You're going to put the mic down. Go close to the mic. Is that better? Better. Motion, I move that the town vote to approve Articles 1, 2, 3, and 4 as printed in the warrant with the exception of the phrases or take any other action related thereto. Second. Motion to be made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Articles 1, 2, 3, and 4 by unanimous vote. Okay. Discussion of Articles 1 through 4 of the special town meeting. There's a lot of people, so I, I apologize if I don't see people who want to speak, but seeing none. All those in favor of Articles 1 through 4 of the special town meeting, say aye. 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 All those opposed? I declare it unanimous. Uh, Selectman Sherman. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I move that the town vote to approve Article 5 as printed in the warrant with the exception of the phrase, or take any other action relating thereto. Second. Check. A motion been made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 5 by a vote of 7 to 0. Okay. All those in favor, uh, any discussion, I apologize, any discussion on Article 5? Seeing none. All those in favor of Article 5 as moved, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimous. Article 6, Mr. Gottlieb. Moderator, I move the town vote to appropriate and transfer a sum of $850,000 from Capital Stabilization Fund to fund the Natural Resources Capital Expense Account for the purpose of the real property acquisition referenced in Article 6. I have a second. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 6 by a vote of 7-0. Okay, discussion on Article 6. 
Okay, Ge that gentleman, somebody have a microphone for him? Oh, you're at a microphone, go ahead, sir. For everybody, Hello? Hello? everybody needs to state their name and address for the record. Okay, go ahead, sir. Brian Everett, 77 Forest Drive. Thank you. I'd like to see the town vote no on this. Um, Santua Pond's been very impaired for years now. Purchasing a close to a million dollar building for the Natural Resources Department isn't gonna do anything to help Santua Pond. I'd rather see the money go towards Santua Pond, have the town hold on to that $850,000 and put it towards Santua Pond instead. Okay. Thank you, sir. And that's, it's a tough one because that microphone's right in front of a column, so. Be loud like that last gentleman, that was great. Uh, any other discussion? I actually need binoculars to see all the way down there. All right, seeing none, I need a two-thirds vote. All those in favor of Article 6, say aye. 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 All those opposed? I declare a two-thirds vote. Do I have a motion to adjourn the special town meeting? So moved. All in favor? Second. Yes. All in yes. favor? Aye. 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 All right, we're moving to uh, the annual town meeting. In the name of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, you are hereby directed to notify and summons the inhabitants of the town of Mashpee who are qualified to vote in the elections to meet at the Mashpee High School on Monday, the third day of May uh, uh, 2021 at 7 p.m. for the following purposes, to act on the articles contained in the following warrant. Uh, Mr. Uh, Suckman Whedon. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I move that the town vote to dispense with the reading of the annual town meeting warrant articles. Second. Sure. Okay. All right, a motion was made and seconded. I do want to tell everyone that I am gonna go line by line on the omnibus and the capital improvement article because I think it's too important to just gloss over. Being that though, I will accept as the moderator uh, the motion to dispense with the other readings. Uh, and there's been a motion made and seconded. All those in favor of dispensing with the rest of the readings say aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. Uh, I do wanna let people know there are chairs just sitting here, no pun intended, waiting for somebody to come get them and use them. They're down here uh, directly across from where I am, uh, just sitting here. There's, placed here, you can go get them and move them wherever you want them. All right, uh, Mr. Cotton. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. <clears throat> I move that the town vote to approve Article 1 as printed in the warrant and with the exception of the phrase or take any other action relating thereto. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 1 by a vote of 7-0. Any discussion on Article 1? Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 1, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimous. All right, Article 2, uh, I'm not gonna read it, but I am gonna go line by line. Uh, as we've done in the past, because I know there are people who haven't been here in the past, um, that I read each line, I read the town manager's recommendations. Anybody wants to question it, just yell out hold, and we'll go back at the end and address each and every hold. If nobody yells out hold, I'll take a motion and we'll proceed accordingly. All right, uh, line one, moderator, salary 200. Total, 200. Selectman, salary elected, 15,500. Salary wage, 411,950. Expense, 38,500. Legal engineering consulting, 385,000. Total selectmen, 850,950. Finance committee, reserve fund, 100,000. Expense, 70,000. Total finance committee, 170,000. <laughs> Town account and salary wage, 300,236. Expense, 2,675. Total, 302,911. Assessors, salary appointed, 3,000. Salary wage, 310,995. Expense, 6,400. Total assessors, 320,395. I have no holds on that page. Treasured tax collector, salary wage, 264,972. 
Expense, 48,900. Debt service, 2,500. Foreclosure, 12,000 total. Treasurer tax collector, 328,372. Human resources, salary wage, 387,660. Expense, 113,519. Total human resources, 501,179. Information technology, salary wage, $374,048. Expense, $314,328. Equipment replacement, $27,000. Total information technology, $715,376. Town clerk, salary elected, $93,355. Salary wage, $105,251. Expense, 9,175. Total town clerk, 207,781. Elections and registration, salary wage, 63,095. Expense, 23,000. Total elections and registrations, $86,095. Conservation, salary wage, 5,336. I'm sorry, 228,350. Expense, 5,336. Herring expense, 500. Total conservation, 234,186. Natural resources, salary wage, 508,932. Expense, 132,840. Propagation, 135,000. Total natural resources, 776,772. I have no holes on that page. Planning board expense, 1,125. Total, 1,125. Planning department, salary wage, 142,730. Expense, 4,125. 4, Total planning department, 146,855. Town hall expense, 282,000. Total, 282,000. Police, salary wage, 4,404,421. Expense, 317,681. Dispatcher, salary wage, 548,095. Total police, 5,270,197. Fire, salary wage, 4,158,990. Expense, 507,723. Total fire, 4,666,713. Building inspector, salary wage, 332,993. Expense, 29,375. Total building inspector, 362,368. Tree warden, nothing. School. Uh, Budget, 23,299,435. Total school budget, 23,299,435. DPW salary wage, 2,756,526. DPW expense, 965,420. Buildings and grounds, 1,300,311. Total DPW, 5,022,257. I have no holds on that page. Snow and ice, expense 116,570. Total, 116,570. Street lighting expense, 22,000. Total, 22,000. Transfer station, 1,078,249. Total, 1,078,249. Sewer Commission, salary, 100,820. Expense, 10,200. Total Sewer Commission, 111,020. Cemetery, 15,000. Total, 15,000. Health, salary appointed, 3,000. Salary wage, 321,105. Expense, 63,040. Total health, 387,145. 
Council on Aging, salary and wage, 264,680. Expense, 43,627. Total Council on Aging, 308,307. Veterans, expense, 121,000. Membership, 41,500. Totals, veterans, 162,500. Human Services, salary wage, 85,601. Expense, 51,910. Total Human Services, 137,511. 137, no holds on that page. Library, salary wage, 529,898. Expense, 193,467. Total library, 723,365. Recreation, salary wage, 296,871. Expense, 32,125. Total recreation, 328,996. Historical, temp wage, 9,000. Expense, 6,830. Total historical, 15,830. Cultural Council, expense 90, total 90. Principal inside two and a half is 1,700,000, I'm sorry, 1,173,797. Principal outside two and a half is 805,000. No temporary pricing outside two and a half. Interest inside two and a half, 209,138. Interest outside two and a half, 261,125. Temporary borrowing inside two and a half, 70,000. Temporary borrowing outside two and a half, 61,250. Retirement expense, 3,704,763. Unemployment, 40,000. Medical insurance, 7,543,742. Group insurance, I have no holds on that page. Group insurance, 15,845. Medicare, 485,000. Town insurance, 946,520. Total omnibus budget for this calendar year, no fiscal year, I'm sorry, 62,267,930. I have no hold, uh, Selectman O'Hara. <coughs> Mr. Moderator, thank you. Most, I move that the town vote to fix the salaries and the, of the elected officials as specified under the columns entitled Town Manager Recommendations. In line items two and 24, the omnibus budget is distributed to voters at the town meeting and further the town to defray the expenses for the <coughs> ensuring fiscal year for the appropriate those amounts shown under the columns entitled Town Manager Recommendations and that to fund said appropriation, the town raise and appropriate $58,633,598 and further appropriate and transfer from the ambulance receipt reserve for appropriation amount $450,000 to line items 42 and 50,000 to line item 43, $120,000 to line item 74, and, and 18,000 to line item 77. Appropriate and transfer from the conservation revolving am amount of 15,000 to line item 29, appropriate and transfer from the shelf receipts receipts reserved for appropriation account 25,000 to line item 34, appropriate and transfer from the waterways improvement fund 25,000 to line item 33, appropriate and transfer from the cemetery receipts reserved for appropriation account 15,000 to line item 57. 
appropriate and transfer from the street betterment receipts reserved for appropriation account 405,000 to line item 74, 94,750 to line item 77, and $40,000 to line item 79. Appropriate and transfer from the septic betterment receipts re reserved and appropriation account 18,797 to line item 74. $13,760 to line item 59 and appropriate and transfer from the Community Preservation Act Fund, $420,000 to line item 74 and $24,025 to line item 77 and appropriate and transfer from re revenue available for appropriation, $1,000,000. $900,000 to line item 83. Woo. Motion for made and seconded. Um, Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 2 by a vote of 7 to 0. Okay. Even though there was no holds, any discussion on the budget? Seeing none. All those in favor of Article 2 as moved, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimous. Article three, <clears throat> again, I'm gonna read the town manager recommendations. Anybody wants to hold, just yell it out. Uh, replace uh, DPW, replace the two, two thousand, uh, 2012 Ford F-350, 44,000. Replace the 2014 Ford F-350, 46,000. Replace the 2014 Ford F-550, 91,000. Replace the 2013 Vermeer Chipper, 75,000. Total DPW, 256,000. Fire, purchase two vehicles, DC 372, utility 350, 120,000. Total fire, 120,000. Information technology, phone system upgrade, 25,564. Network switch, town hall, 50,000. MS office, 33,884. Total information technology, 109,448. Natural resources, replace shellfish boats, 43,000. Replace harbor master boat, 158,000. Total natural resources, 201,000. Planning and construction, flooring replacement, 50,000. Roof solar system purchase, 119,198. QS library AC installation, 75,000. Mastery High School parking lot resurfacing, 350,000. School security upgrades, 90,000. Total planning and construction, 684,198. Police. 10 police vehicles, 156,000. Four police vehicles, 68,400. Total police, 224,400. School, food service equipment upgrades, 25,000. Chromebook leases, 45,000. Interactive board systems in classrooms, 25,000. Replacement of teacher PCs, 56,000. Wireless upgrades, 30,000. Flagpole installation, 30,000. Total school, 211,000. Total all departments, $1,806,046. I have no holds. Ms. Sherman. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I move the town vote to appropriate transfer the sum of $80,000 from the PEG access and cable related fund and appropriate and transfer the sum of $1,726,046 from capital stabilization fund to fund the various department capital accounts. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 3 by a vote of 7-0. Even though there was no holds, any questions or discussions regarding 
the capital budget. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 3 say aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimous. Uh, Mr. Gottlieb. Mr. Moderator, I move the town move to approve Article 4 as printed in the warrant with the exception of the phrase or take any other action relating thereto. Do I have a second? Second. second. Motion was made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 4 by a vote of 6 0. Okay. Discussion on Article 6. Four. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mask. All right, seeing none, all those in favor of Article 4 say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. um, Article 5, Mr. Weed. I move, the, thank you, Mr. Moderator. I move the town vote to approve Article 5 as printed in the warrant with the exception of the phrase or take any other action relating thereto. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 5 by a vote of 6 0. Any discussion on Article 5? Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 5 as moved, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimous. Article 6, Mr. Cotton. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I move the town vote to approve Article 6 as printed in the warrant with the exception of the phrase or take any other action relating thereto. Second. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Uh, Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 6 by a vote of 6-0. Okay. Mr. Moderator. Mr. Gottlieb. First, I'd like to thank everyone for showing up tonight. It turned out very impressive, and we appreciate your interest in this important topic. Town of Mashby has been looking at and trying to figure out how to deal with its water quality problems for most of my adult life. If you're my age or older, and you've been in this town since early 1980s, you know that under the blue sky reflection in the Mashpee River, the upper reaches of Papanasset Bay, Santua River, Wakoit Bay, that underneath, if you were to look underneath the water, you could see the bottom. You could see your feet on the bottom. You could see eelgrass and the habitat that it provided, the shellfish that were living on that eelgrass, the thousands of different types of bait fish that were providing, uh, seeking forage and cover under the, uh, in the eelgrass, providing food source for winter flounder, striped bass, bluefish, all manner of fish and wildlife that lived on and relied on those resources. You also know, if you've been here that long, that that's not what exists today. What exists today, if you look below the surface, you can try to look below the surface. If you could see the bottom, which you can't, you would see no eelgrass. You would see no scallops. You would see no native reproducing shellfish. You wouldn't see any blue crabs. You wouldn't see those bait fish. And rarely do you see the fish, the recreational fish that are chasing those, uh, those bait fish, one because they're not there, and two because the water quality is not good enough to support them. What we are trying to do tonight is the culmination of a almost 40 year effort to figure out what to do to get back to what we had, what we lost, and what we know we can restore. We know what the problem is. Problem is we've lost our water quality because too much nitrogen from too many septic systems are traveling through the groundwater and impacting those marine resources. Choking them off with over fertilization that results in too much algae that has caused a cascading sequence of decline in our water resources. We've studied the problem for decades. We have a solution to that problem. Solution requires an investment by the community in modern wastewater treatment technology. We have a plan that has two major aspects to it. The first is shellfish 
aquaculture, and town has supported for a number of years uh, an aggressive aquaculture program, which has made progress in improving aspects of our water quality. But we know, based on the science, that that is inadequate to achieve the restoration of the resource that we all came to Mashpee, or stayed in Mashpee, or were born to Ma into Mashpee to enjoy and we value, and which is the basis of our economy, our way of life, our property values, and everything that we think is important as a community. In order to achieve that outcome, we have a five-phase wastewater management plan that over time, step by step, will extend treatment capability to different parts of town to the point where we have achieved the water quality objective that we need to see the restoration of our precious bays and estuaries. When in combination with the impact and benefits from the shellfish, the individual phases of our wastewater program have achieved that outcome, we will stop. We have a plan that has five phases. It's our collective hope and expectation. We will not need to build all five phases. Where will we stop? We don't know yet. But we can't figure anything out until we start. And that's what tonight is about. Tonight is about taking the first step towards achieving the steps that we need to take to get our bays and estuaries back to what they should be, to undo the damage that we have done collectively through improper and inadequate wastewater disposal approaches, and to right a wrong that we know we've been committing for a number of years. The plan before you tonight is phase one. It doesn't commit you to phase two, three, four, or five. Each time that we come back and decide that there's a need to move to a next phase, we'll go through a process very much like what we have gone through culminating in tonight's conversation. We'll do the design. We'll come to you for design funds. We'll do the design. We'll come to you for construction funds. We'll have to make the case each and every time to the informed electorate of Mashpee that the next phase is worth it, that the next phase is necessary. What is unquestioned, though, is that phase one is an absolute necessity. Phase one has two elements to it. Construction of a treatment plant at the transfer station's location. It is a modular facility. It will serve as the primary backbone of our waste treatment for the Mashpee River, Papanessa Bay watershed area. Um, it has been designed uh, with two purposes in mind. One, to achieve the outcome that we want, which is to provide advanced wastewater treatment technology and capability. The second is to do it in a way that is as inobtrusive and unnoticeable as possible. The facility has been cited to be inobtrusive. The facility has been cited and designed so that the treatment work itself is actually underground. It will be put on top of, or on top of the treatment tanks, there will be the treatment building, which will be under negative pressure. The purpose for that is to avoid the escape or allow the escape of any untreated air that might emit odors into the surrounding community. There are two physical scrubbing processes that will remove odors from the air before it is discharged into the surrounding area. There is no wastewater treatment plant publicly owned on Cape Cod that uses more than one air scrubbing technology. We are doing two. The plan also then extends uh, the initial round of sewering for the area where we get the greatest return on the investment in terms of nitrogen reductions to the area of the Mashpee River and Papanessa Bay watershed that is most heavily impacted by the nutrients we're releasing. The upper reaches of the, of the Mashpee River where it first turned saline from fresh water roughly at 28 and then moving south down towards the, the main part of Papanessa Bay. The plan is not cheap. However, we have done a lot of work as a community over the years to take advantage of opportunities that exist uh, at the state level and locally to try to move as much of the cost of this project off the property tax base as possible. We know that the town relies almost 90 odd percent of its revenue comes from property taxes. That's you, me, and everybody in this room. And we know that increasing property taxes 
uh, is burdensome on a portion of our population, knowing further full well that no one likes to pay more property taxes than they need to. So the financing plan that you have before you tonight that is underpinning this project um, relies much less on any additional or on property tax than anything we've ever put before you as a community. In fact, the vote tonight and the vote on question one at the annual election on the 8th will not raise your property taxes beyond what is already in place. How do we do that? We do that in a couple of means. We have very aggressively taken advantage of attractive financing from the state of Massachusetts. The town was awarded a state revolving loan fund grant this spring in the amount of $54 million. If we vote on question eight, it would come at zero interest. So there is no cheaper money out there than a loan at no interest over a 30 year period. In addition, the state has awarded us $1.8 million in principal forgiveness, therefore reducing the amount needed to be borrowed by that $1.8 million. We were the beneficiaries of the first round of funding from the Cape and Islands Water Protection Trust two weeks ago. It awarded Mashby just about $13 million. The final number will end up being 25% of whatever the cost of the project ends up being. So between those two grant sources, roughly 28%, 27% of this project um, is being funded through grants. That is the best deal out there. In addition, we are using and dedicating via town meeting action last year, our receipts from our short-term rental stay tax. So when people come to Mashpee, rent a room, rent a house, rent a hotel, they are paying a uh, tax that goes to the town that is non-property tax revenue. That is going to fund roughly 22 million of the 54 million dollars being paid back over the life of the loan. Again, a non-property tax source of revenue. The remainder is being paid for from something you created last year. We came to you and asked you to authorize the creation of a 2% water infrastructure investment fund. That fund um, was approved at town meeting. It was approved last fall at the ballot. It goes into effect on July 1 whether this question passes or not. And it will be putting money aside to fund water and wastewater infrastructure. We are going to be drawing on that fund to pay the remainder of the balance on the debt service for this particular project. So we are asking you to consider moving ahead and voting to spend $54 million, but we have done it in a way that I think we are all collectively proud of that does not add to the tax burden of this community. The reality is that we need to clean up our waters. We're legally obligated to clean up our waters. We're economically driven to clean up our waters. The economy of this community, the value of your house, my house, whether you choose to use it to pass wealth on to your children, whether you plan to sell it to find, to have someplace else to live, whether you plan to do a mortgage on it to take care of parents or send your kids to college. That property value is predicated on the continued environmental quality of this town. We all have a stake in this. The cost of doing nothing is significant. We are already paying that price. We're paying it through lost aesthetic value. We're paying it through lost recreational value. We're, playing it, we're paying it because we live in a less healthy, less robust, less forgiving environment. And it's up to us to change that. Government works for us in this town, nationally, for one simple principle. It's called the consent of the governed. What we're doing here tonight is presenting you a plan that we think represents what is in the best interest of our community. It takes the best science, it takes the best approach, it moderates it and modulates it to meet the needs of our community, um, and it does it in a way that we feel is affordable and appropriate for our town and allows our town a bright future to prosper. We up at this table believe we have done our job in asking you to consider that plan. Whether we proceed or not is up to you. We can't take this any further without your support. This is your decision to make. 
It's your decision what kind of community you want to be, what kind of community you want to live in, and what environment you want to exist in. I'm hopeful, having spent the majority of my life, adult life anyway, concerned about this issue and seeing uh, something that I care deeply about marked by a period of decline that starting tonight, my now young adult children will look at the majority of their adult lives in Mashpee as a period where we sought and recovered what we lost during my lifetime. I hope you will vote yes on this question. Thank you. Usually I make this announcement uh, at the beginning, but uh, it took a little while. We have uh, 436 individuals in the house. Thank you for appearing. Wow. <laughs> to think that you came out to see me is very hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I have uh, a motion. Go ahead, Mr. Larkin. Uh, Mr. Larkin is standing here. We need a microphone for Mr. Larkin. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Um, okay. <laughs> Mr. Moderator, uh, town meeting members, I would like to make a motion <clears throat> to allow citizens here tonight to have the right to a secret, in other words, private vote on Article 6 for the following reasons. Since this is the most expensive project in the history of the town, you folks tonight have taken the time to come out to be here tonight at town meeting and it seems to me as though <clears throat> they've asked me to, to, to uh, recommend that you have the democratic right to vote your conscience and with, with uh, no possibility of somebody criticizing you or, or uh, making any comment once you make that vote. You have the basic right uh, at, uh, at an election, and why not here, for a ballot that nobody else can criticize you or make any comment about. I want to make it clear that, that I've been asked that this motion is in no way uh, recommending a yes or no vote on the question. That's for you to decide. It is also no reflection on the hard work that has been done by our dedicated town officials. I know that they, and I feel that they certainly welcome citizen input. It is only intended to extend to you an option, if you desire, after full discussion, after complete and full discussion on this proposed article has been taken. And enough said, it's an option that you people have uh, yes or no, and it's your, it's your choice if you want to have a private vote that nobody can criticize you for. I do I have a second? Do I have a second? Second. Motion to made second. <laughs> Discussions on uh, the motion, which is to take a secret uh, vote uh, on this article. We haven't discussed it, but to take a, a vote. That's what is up for discussion. Uh, yes, sir. No? Okay. Jerry, somebody. Over there. <laughs> I can't see. State your name. No? No. Okay. All right, then we're going to vote uh, on whether or not you want to take a secret ballot for Article 6. We're not voting on that article yet. All right, all those in favor of the motion to cast a secret ballot on Article 6, say aye. 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 
All those opposed? No. no. Okay, it's defeated. <laughs> now, I'll open the floor for discussions on Article 6. Yes? Right in the center. Can you hear me okay? I can. Okay. Uh, my name is Richard Cook. I'm uh, a resident uh, of, uh, of Mashby with my wife. We've been here for uh, many years. I've been here since before 1980, uh, 19 Penn Lane in Mashby. Um, Not before those animals. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Go ahead. Um, all I can tell you is, uh, is with respect to the, the gentleman who uh, stood up uh, before me, um, it's it's time, and uh, what uh, Selectman Gottlieb uh, iterated in uh, his statement was um, was right on point, um, and. Uh, I read a book a couple of years ago about um, about codfish uh, in New England, and uh, the the, um, the phrase that struck me most was uh, was the new normal, mm. and uh, and the thing is, um, if you haven't been in Mashby, you know, for a long time. You see the, the the water the way it is now, and you accept it as being as being normal. Uh, but it's it's not normal. Trust me, it's not normal. Um, normal is being able to see the bottom in six feet, ten feet of water, and. Uh, and I believe that uh, that we can see it again. If we just trust in, uh, in in what the town has laid out here to uh, to move forward with, um, we can't uh, we can't waste time on this. It's not gonna it's not gonna uh, take care of itself. Okay, thank you. I'm going to try to get to every speaker. I, I don't like to cut people off, but I will ask each and every one of you to please be concise. Don't be repetitive, and because there's going to be other people who want to speak. All right, we'll stay in the center. Yes. Hi, how you doing? Vernon Parker, Nightingale House Road. Thank you, sir. Um, I think this is a very important uh, subject. Um, for the years, I'm going on 60 years old, and I've watched our waters die. Um, I'm a fisherman, um, and I've watched this water die from ever since I was a kid for the last 50 years. It's slowly going downhill. Um, now it's at the point that my tribal members cannot fish in this water. We have to go to other towns because the water quality is re really bad. So I really hope that we get a uh, yes on this to get this going is really important to this town to make our water safe. Um, and I hope this works out. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. So he's Jesse Quinnigway, some Jesse Little Doe Baird, um, currently at uh, 24 Horseshoe Bend Way in Mashby. And I just want to uh, thank um, Selectman Gottlieb um, for really, um, just really working hard to make this happen. I think it was around 1984, we were the fastest growing town in the United States. We put up so many houses and we did not have a good plan in place um, for wastewater. So now um, we see what's happened as a result. Um, like Buddy, my cousin, I'm born and raised here. Um, and watch the degradation um, of the waters. And I also want to say that I'm also very proud um, that while 
we all have a hand in the situation that we've come to see in these waters. We can also all have a hand to make this right for our kids, and I hope people get behind this um, vote. Thank you. Thank you. I, before I call on the next person, I want everybody to know, though, that there is a 30-minute uh, right to reconsider a vote. And so that means that after you vote on any article, someone can move to reconsider that article within a 30-minute timetable. I just throw that out because a lot of times over the years, people get up and leave after a vote, and sometimes that could be a disastrous result. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Melbourne Craigwell from 67 Lovells Lane. I have two comments to make. One is negative, and the second one is positive. You mentioned that, Mr. Gottlieb mentioned that this has happened over 40 years. Well, I think every one of us can raise our hands and say we contributed to this. And I hope there isn't a person in here who believes that this will be solved in 40 years. Maybe our great-grandchildren will enjoy. But what we have done, the, that's the negative side. The positive side is I compliment the town of Mashpee who are planning to clean up the waters of this beautiful town. And I hope that the, this, this bill passes. Thank you. All right, we're gonna move to the other side. Uh, go ahead, I see the hand. Yes, uh, Phyllis Sprout, Quinnaquistan Avenue in Mashpee. I just have a question about a, one of the details in the plan. As I understand it, there's going to be some road construction or laying pipe as part of the first phase of the plan. And my question is, when we factor in the cost of this uh, construction, when it comes to repaving, are we patching or are we repaving the road? And what has the, uh, what are we actually putting into our cost estimate at this point? Is it patching or repaving? Okay, Mr. Gottlieb. Uh, the plan that we have adheres to the state guidelines for reimbursement for sewer projects, so it's a patch. There's $7.9 million in road repair patch and built into the budget. However, we are going to be sitting down and looking at our road repair schedule um, and seeing where we can match up work that we were otherwise going to have to do on road repair so that we can re-time some of the work so that when the road is open to do the pipes, we'll use a portion of the money from this financing to, um, to bring it up to the point where the whole thing can be done using monies we were otherwise going to use to do road repair. So I can't tell you that every road that's going to get a sewer pipe installed in it is going to get redone curb to curb at that same time, but we are aware of the issue and we're trying to synchronize road maintenance with the installation of the pipe so that we give you as much good clean road as we can as a result of this project. Okay, well, stay over there. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, uh, my name is Richard Weiner, uh, 13C Spray. Uh, my concern is that uh, uh, there are several uh, 750 homes in uh, Southport in which we have now put in our own sewer treatment plant to the cost of $4 million. Okay. We were assessed $6,000 each for, that, uh, for the putting in the new sewer treatment plant. As you go forward with this plan, I'm glad to see the first 54 million will be pretty much covered without going for a tax increase. But as we go forward, there probably will be tax increases to fund the remaining work to be done. And I would like to know how the selectmen are planning to give us some credit in Southport for doing the sewer treatment plant ourselves prior to all this work the town is gonna to do. Mr. Gottlieb? The, um the Board of Selectmen has uh, made the decision some time ago that the project would be uh, distributed across using tax base as opposed to betterments. And so much like our other shared services, schools, fire, police, which some of us may use and some of us may not use certain times in our lifetime on the, uh, in this community, um, there's no differentiation uh, between how the cost is assessed across the tax base should incremental taxes be necessary. Truth of the matter is we don't know, because we don't know exactly what phase two looks like, 
We don't know exactly when we're gonna be bringing it back. We don't know what the cost is gonna be. A lot of the techniques and methods that we have available to us now that we're using are underpinned by fairly conservative estimates about revenue growth as well as property value change. And so, as I started my comments earlier, when it's time to look at phase two, we're gonna develop the same type of financing plan, have the same kind of conversation, so when we come to you and tell you what we're asking you to do, we'll be able to lay out for you in some detail what the tax implications are gonna be for you and you can make your judgment about whether that's an appropriate use of public resources or not. So basically what you're saying is the $4 million we spent was really into the wind. No, what I'm saying is were you not to have invested in wastewater treatment facility at your location, you would be on the list at some point for the installation of public resources which would raise the overall cost of the project more, which you would pay a pro rata share of. So the fact that you might have done that investment lowers the future cost of public infrastructure and that benefits you as equally as you feel that an expenditure of public resources works to your detriment. Okay, we're gonna go to the center, right here. Uh, my name is Lewis Haddleman. I live on Punkhorn Point Road. My question is, this is a very comprehensive plan and I applaud the selectman and the people that carried it out. My question is, is this, does the steps of this plan dependent upon what the, our towns around us do or don't do? You know, like Falmouth and Sandwich and other areas. Is our, is our success dependent upon actions that they have to take or not take? That's a really good question. Um, so in the, in the situation of Papanesset Bay, Mashpee Watershed, which is what we're doing now, we executed, we as Board of Selectmen executed an intermissible agreement with the towns of Sandwich and Barnstable that bind us together to mutual activity that reduces our nitrogen loading collectively and together. So we have an agreement with them that brings Barnstable forward. They're the next biggest contributor of wastewater load to Papanessa Bay Watershed. They are committed legally to us to proceed with theirs as we are legally committed to proceed to, to them with ours. Same is true of Sandwich. Um, we cannot achieve our ultimate water quality goals without the participation of each of our neighboring communities. Similarly, they cannot achieve their water quality goals without us. We're having the conversation with Sandwich and Falmouth for the Wakoit Bay watershed, and what you're seeing up and down the Cape is the towns have recognized that we can do this better, faster, cheaper, if we're working together and in coordination with one another rather than doing it alone, and that's what we're doing. Okay, uh, staying in the center. Go ahead. Go ahead. Christopher Nelson, 30 Palmer Road. I was born and raised on Cape Cod. My father was born and raised on Cape Cod. Over my lifetime, I have watched the water quality here disintegrate. I have sailboats on my wedding band because of what this place means to me. And I ask you today, as residents of Mashpee, to let me raise my future family here. We always say the time is old money. We wish we had the time then. We had the money then. The financing was better then. We will not face property tax increases with this project. Not only must we vote tonight, but I remind you that we must vote at the election and make sure that we turn out for this election. And I thank you for coming here tonight. But it is time for us to save our water. Okay, um, anybody over there? No? Anyone over here? Okay, all right, go ahead. I, I cannot see, I apologize, but go ahead. First one on the mic. Speak much, but I'm Lauren Gottlieb, 119 Pickerel Cove Road. I am part of the generation that you all are referring to of the children who have grown up here, who are watching our waters, even in my lifetime, get worse. Um, 
my dad and I were going through my grandmother's things the other day, cleaning some stuff out, and she had saved a, an article out of the newspaper from 2004 about the work he was doing on this. So 17 years have passed and we have not done anything, except my dad's gotten a little bit older. Um, and grayer. He'll blame that on me. Um, but I can tell you from having spent a good deal of the pandemic here at home and visiting frequently and spending as much time here as I can throughout my lifetime since my now 91-year-old grandmother uh, had the foresight to know that Mashpee would be a great place for us. I have been listening to this conversation at breakfast, at dinner. I've seen my dad stay up many nights thinking about this, waking up early to put all of his effort into this project that we are listening to today. This is truly, as he said, the culmination of 30 years of work that is not an exaggeration. And him and his fellow board members all before you tonight have thoroughly thought this through. And as the gentleman before me said, we don't want to look back and realize that we've missed our opportunity. And as was briefly mentioned, we are under legal obligation to do this. Uh, if we are forced to do this, we don't get to choose how, and it is going to cost us more. So from a purely economic standpoint, this is the best way to do this. And I think everyone, I hope that everyone here wants our environment to continue to stay in this, sustain this community so that myself, my brother who's here with me today, and hopefully the other young residents of Mashpee can continue to have the privileges that you all hopefully have had of enjoying this environment. And we really owe it to, uh, to everyone here, but to the, I, let's do it, let's vote. Any, uh, yes. First of all, Quinn I move the question. <laughs> Anybody, I cannot see. Anybody else looking to talk? All right. All right. <laughs> I need two thirds vote on Article 6. All those in favor of Article 6 as moved. Say aye. 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 <laughs> All those opposed? It is unanimous. Mr. O'Hara, Article 7. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Moderator, thank you. I move that the town vote to indefinitely postpone Article 7. Second. 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 My motion is made and seconded. Uh, Finance Committee, do you? The Finance Committee recommends indefinite postponement of Article 7 by a vote of 6 0. Okay. Any discussion on indefinitely postponing Article 7? Seeing none, all those in favor of indefinitely postponing Article 7 say aye. 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 All those opposed? Passes. Indefinitely postponed. Okay, uh, Ms. Sherman, Article 8. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I move the town vote to approve Article 8 as printed in the warrant and with the exception of the phrase or take any other action relating thereto. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 8 by a vote of 5 to 1. Any discussion on Article 8? No. Seeing none. All those in favor of Article 8 as moved, say aye. 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 All those opposed? It's a good group. Can we come back in uh, the fall? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Article 9, uh, Mr. Gottlieb. Mr. Moderator, 
I, mo I move the town vote to approve Article 9 as printed in the warrant with the exception of the phrase or take any other action relating thereto. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Article 9 by a vote of 7-0. Any discussion on Article 9? Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 9 say aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimous. Article 10. Uh, and Article 10 through 19, uh, Mr. Weed. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I move the town vote to indefinitely postpone Article 12 to approve Article 15, appropriating the sum of $594,184 to provide for road improvement projects in and for the town in accordance with Chapter 90 of the Massachusetts General Laws and to authorize the treasurer with the approval of the Board of Selectmen to borrow said sum of $594,184 under and pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law Chapter 44, subsection 7 and 8, or any other enabling authority and to issue bonds and notes, therefore, and further vote to approve Articles 10, 11, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, and 19 as printed in the warrant with the exception of the phrases or take any other action relating thereto. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee recommends approval of Articles 10 through 19. Any discussion on any of the articles 10 through 19? Seeing none, I will caution that uh, article 715 needs a two thirds vote. Um, all those in favor of article 10 through 19 say aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimous. Take a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. <laughs> Thank you very much.